Hello and welcome to Eclipse Day! Now, for those of you that are lucky enough to be in the path of totality that is coming across the United States, I ask you this. When you are looking at the sun through these nice little glasses, pay very close attention because what you will find is that the cause of the eclipse is in fact moldy kumquat. Today, ladies and gentlemen, for Eclipse Day, we are bringing the law down from the heavens and smashing our opponents. So, what are we doing here, Moldy? Very simple. We play angels and we pound with angels. Well, and also we have a roaming throne that wants to think maybe I can be an angel too. We also have a couple tech cards in here, such as Temporary Lockdown, which will affect our Giada if we have to play it, but it affects Boros and Mono Red much, much more. We have Get Lost for the things that we can't get rid of any other way, and Lightning Helix, which can uh, help with creature removal as well as go to the face, um, which does come in handy. Other than that, we play our cards, and we kill our opponent. Now... Across our 10 games, we did go 5-5. Five and five. I felt that a couple of those games were a little bit unfair due to, the, due to the shuffler. So, I played a few extra games. Also, mainly because I did not have a whole lot of footage because the games went fairly quickly. Um, but we did win three more games in a row, making our total um, result 8-5. and five. So, I think it did pretty well. Anyway, let's go ahead and get straight into the games, but first, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. It would be a great big help uh, for us to continue going forward making these videos. Also, if you like the video, make sure you are uh, liking the video because that tells the YouTube algorithm to show my video to other people, and that is what we want. We want to bring in as many people into this community as we possibly can can. Now, the time for talking is over. The time for playing is now. I mean... I don't like any of this, actually. he continues to do nothing, I'm happy. Super quick on that, wasn't he? Super quick on that. I couldn't tell if he had a, uh, yeah, he had a gap there. He had a gap there, so he's probably sitting on an emperor. That 
means he she is no longer a uh, emperor target I've got six right here that I can just pop in the face Alrighty. See how this works out for Unseen Faith. He's searching. He is searching. Did he get something? Okay. Ooh, wow. That was big time. That was a big one. Unseen faith. You just don't know it yet, do you? You do now. You know you don't have anything to stop the angel of wrath. Get deleted, my guy. Get deleted. Back up to tier three. right there. That's a big old dog right there. Your tainted adver uh, observer is not going to be enough for that big dog right there. Oh. What's this? Whenever you cast a spell that targets only a single artifact or creature you control, take a token. Okay, yeah. pressure with these two dudes. And just keep bringing it. Just keep bringing it. I'm going full wide here, boys and girls. And look at how big they're getting. You can't handle how big these guys are getting. Cram, I don't think you can create enough tokens this turn to deal with this beef. Definitely, you definitely want to keep all that smoke over there because you do not want any of the smoke coming your way. And oh, it's coming your way right now. Coming your way right now. Coming your way right now. Just gonna get some life link. Get some. Uh, get some vigilance. We're gonna bring out the 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 old uh, 
Bivouac. Bivouac. You ain't got nothing, bud. You have not enough to handle all of this smoke. You have not enough. Sure, you have not enough to handle all of this smoke. Let's see. Let's see. That's it. That's what you got. You got one, two, three, four blockers. Who are you blocking? Who are you blocking? Block them little guys. I'll just bring them right back. He's blocking the big ones because he knows that's what's going to kill him. He has to block the big ones. He can try to get cute. At the end of the day, Big Daddy Kumquat's coming your way. Yes, you survived. One turn. You survived. One turn, Crack Capital M. Big Cram. You only have one card to target. The same. I'm just saying. Uh, you've had to give up. You only do something like that when you give up, and there he goes. Deleted. Deleted. Let's go. This is really freaking slow, but I'm kind of getting kind of getting beat down playing that one because the ward will uh, make it a little more difficult to deal with. Now the question is, is do I just get rid of that so I can make sure that I get the attacks through? I've got four mana, five mana that I'm going to be able to use, so yes, I'm going to do it this way. I'll get rid of that. So I get the attacks through. I'm actually going to play my Overseer here so I can draw a card. Ooh, and what a good card to draw. What a good card to draw, Saskatron. You don't know what card I just drew, but you're going to find out. Because she's coming. She is coming. That's fine that you, you've drawn another Resplendent Angel. That is fine. So here comes Mama Bear. Comes Mama Bear. Uh, 
absolutely. That is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. I'm still winning. Still winning. I don't know if I have a four of of her in here, but I'm thinking maybe a four of of uh, Giada should be in here because like she's an engine. She starts churning out these angels. You know, they get huge real quick. Ooh, lifelink. That's nasty. What the hell is that? Definitely gonna keep on attacking. Maybe I should have played Giada first. That's on me. That's on me. I should have played Giada. I hope you. I know you wanted to use that map, thinking that it was an instant, and you thought you were going to put it on the Boombringer Valkyrie and block my Euralia, but didn't quite work out that way for you. Mm, boy, if that was just a. Hurt you, my, my my guy. Hurt you a lot. So, how are we gonna block this? Cause we are gonna block. We're gonna block right here. And actually, I'm gonna block like this. And I'm gonna block like that. Just in case. Just in, I mean, you're tapped out, so I guess it didn't matter. Goodbye, Sescatron. Get deleted, my guy. Get deleted. Which we are not in this game, so there's a... Th Man, the curve is not pretty, but... I just... I really should probably start mulliganing for Giada. I mean, not go all the way down, but... You know, maybe down to five or six. <laughs> Playing a lot of uh, white decks out there. Oh, well, okay. Okay, it's a domain deck. I got fooled. Joke's on you, it's domain. Oh, there's a Giada. Giada. Super confusing. Like I'm confused. It's just super confusing. Like, what is this guy doing? I thought I was playing Domain, and all of a sudden he pops out a daggone, uh... Uh... Seed Shark. Very confusing. Very confusing.
Very, very confusing. Attack 6-6, six, six, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's he got? Like a like a um, march, a white march, or is it just the briefcase? step there. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, bring that bad boy out. Go wide. Go as wide as you want. I'm gonna take it. I mean, I can just gain it right back. Honestly. I don't like that. I've set myself up for a, a lethal next turn if he can't gain any life. And it doesn't look like he's going to be doing much. He's got one mana. So one, two, three, four, ten. He's got ten damage coming through. Okay. See if this will get him to uh, delete himself before my turn. Nope. Okay. There he goes. There he goes. Let's go. On a roll with seven and three over how many games? Mulligan and this because it's very, very expensive. Let's go. I think this will be a lot better. Let's go, yeah. Let's go, yeah. And this guy's playing Boros. He's trying to confuse me with mono red, but it's Boros. Because Mono Red don't play this card anymore. It's Bull O's. See what I tell you? 
It is weird. What the fuck is that? We don't know. It's Poros. Yeah, it's mother. Poros. Poros. I think we're gonna play down a really is vindicator. Poros. He thought that I. He was going to confuse me with mono red, but it's not mono red, it's Boros. There's an Urbrass Forge, this is not your ordinary Boros. There's a Relia bringing the law from above, it's Boros, yeah. Tell me what you got. Tell me what you got, huh? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me what you got. It's Boros. Yeah. down to two cards too so I'm cool with it. It can keep bringing that ear brass forge through. I'm pretty sure I can race him. Especially once I get this Archangel of Wrath out. Hmm. Yeah then we're gonna play real games. Find out next turn if that uh, caverns will give me a black mana to cast the kicker. I've never tried it before, so I don't know. We're gonna see. I believe so. It does. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. You know what that means is this is a good game for Hexproof Spook. This is a good game for Hexproof Spook. Ain't gonna get there. You're not gonna get there with six. But I'm gonna block in case you have a lightning helix. Yeah! I bet you he did, ladies and gentlemen. He thought he was gonna trick me. Thought he was gonna trick me. No, sir.
Let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. Four of angels. Looks like we're up against dinosaurs, maybe. Maybe not. I think it's safe to bring down the angel. Maybe not. Yeah, it's safe to bring down the resplendent angel. Violent disaster. Violent, violent disaster. Um. Ruby Daring Tracker could be an issue. <clears throat> but I'm going to leave it now to make sure that I'm building my board presence. Okay. I'm fine with that. Okay. I am also fine with that. Very good. You can tag in. That's fine. I can race that very, very easily. But... I'll play this hoping to draw a land. We got a land. I'll take care of Ruby. And swing in. And get an angel. Because I gained more than five life. Let's go. Some big stuff right there, but that's fine. Because next turn he is dead, and obviously Violent Disaster does not realize that. I'm just gonna bring her down to show him the law. hand. I'm going first. Two tap lands. Nothing to cast. Mulligan. Ah, uh, there's my girl. Giada. Giada. We'll take Aurelia out because she is the most expensive one there. I'll make him think about it. They're Boros. Okay. Okay, so this is an interesting take on things, huh? Let's go. Okay, so it's one of those, um, you know, decks that, uh, what the Nahiri's Resolve deck, right? So this takes seven or six. The question is, is he going to be running any kind of like uh, depopulate or, or anything? Let's see, six. Just in case. I don't know how controlly his deck is. That's I only see one of these decks every now and again.
We'll just keep the pressure on them. Not interested in blocking that. get all of this stuff but it's going to take my Giada as well so I think doing this is fine because he'll only be left with the mender. So he has to deal with this or dies next turn. Both of them actually, he has to deal with both of them where he dies next turn because I have the lightning helix that I can put at a, uh, towards his face. Sure. I mean that took up his turn is how I kind of feel about that, right? This is some jank, huh? I don't mind a good jank. A good old jank deck, especially down here in these levels. Somebody trying to go up the ladder with some super jank. Boy, he's going for a big time, isn't he? But they can't attack. This guy can attack. Well, all of them can attack. Yeah, okay. Okay. So we are going to block right here. And we are going to block right here. Does he have. Can it put, uh, let's, let's do this. Let's do this because, and be safe. Just in case he had something that he could put at my face. Because I know that I can beat him next turn. Right. There we go. There we go. Deleted. JKL one two three. Get deleted. Boros Angels. Let's go. Okay. We are going first. All right. Actually, let's try to be a little sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Like a snake. Like a sneaky little snake. Let's try to be a little sneaky here. Mr. Lugo, at any point that you would like. There we go. Let's give him a hello. Okay, so a little little Demir uh, mid range, maybe. Let's draw a card. I'd like to get a land. I did not get a land. Okay. He 
He got a land. Very interesting. second one here. Okay. There's another land. I'm actually going to play the roaming throne here. sure he's playing at least some uh, a few counters okay no problem blocking that this down so I have two open for the get lost and um, <laughs> see what he's got nothing do I just take it because I know I'm going to be able to gain some life let's just take the three Okay. fine like that. <clears throat> that gives us room to bring down Aurelia. So I wonder if uh, the Sarah Paragon would let one play this for its disguise cost, since it's a three cost. I guess we'll see. Sure. with where we're at. Hmm. 
Okay. Six. So I can't bring anything here back. He's got a couple things to bring back. If I all out attack, I could I could do this. Yeah, I think I might do that. Cause then I'm gonna be gaining five, six, seven, eight, and then have two four fours. pretty good about where my board's at right now like I can take this damage now he doesn't really have a whole lot anything he brings out is going to be nothing more than a blocker um, which unless he brings out this ninjutsu guy or my angel that's not going to be a very uh, efficient blocker but so he did he brought this bad boy in it's mine but I still feel like I have enough to finish him, Mr. Lugo off and that's where we're going to go with that. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so let's think about things here real quick. He's doing eight. I'll have four left. He only has two usable cards in hand, which with with black, with the collars he's in, none of those are going to do direct damage to me, but <clears throat> one of them may kill one of my guys, so we're not going to block him. But I still think I have him. I, I don't think that he can handle all of this sure yeah see this is this has got to be ggs mr lugo this has got to be a ggs there he goes get deleted mr lugo you knew you tried but it was not enough Alrighty everyone, I hope you enjoyed those games, you know I did. If you've stuck around till the end, I greatly appreciate it. And if you are still here and you have yet to subscribe yet, please check out one of these other videos and maybe you'll find something that will sway you into subscribing. Either way, I appreciate each and every one of you and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care. Oh, I'm going to go watch the Eclipse. <laughs>